Distribution of trees is partially to blame for urban heat index. Great TV's Peter Zampa spoke to organizations fighting for tree equity to improve public health. They say the best time to plant a tree uh, was 20 years ago, and the next best time to plant a tree is right now. In Virginia, the NAACP donated $60,000 to help nonprofit Eco Action Arlington plant trees in 10 historically black neighborhoods. Their mission? Increase tree canopy coverage, bring down temperatures, and improve people's quality of life. I spoke with NAACP Arlington Branch President Michael Heminger. Why is it so important to the NAACP to start focusing on environmental justice? So a lot of some of our neighborhoods have 70, 80, even you know 90 percent of uh, tree canopy coverage. There's other neighborhoods in our county um, that have three four, five percent uh, tree canopy coverage. And that's making the temperatures uh, hotter in those areas. Um, it's making it harder to breathe. You know, Arlington is the smallest geographic county in the country, but there's a 10 year life expectancy difference depending on where you live. The data demonstrated to us that uh, black and brown residents that are living in our community um, are living significantly less than their counterparts. As temperatures rise, Doctors warn severe heat can narrow airways, triggering respiratory illness. It makes your blood more prone to clotting, triggering heart attacks. And certain medications make people more susceptible to heat stroke. How did black Americans become sort of this tip of the spear when it comes to the effects of climate change? You know, racism in America is uh, at the systemic level. Um, there's so many different facets and elements that have been uh, put into policy intentionally. The federal government acknowledges redlining played a role. Now illegal, the exclusionary practice employed by banks, insurance companies, and municipalities denied private lending and public investment in minority neighborhoods. Many black and brown communities didn't have the investments to plant trees or create parks. Trees are remarkable things, so we're focusing on, through our program, planting large native trees. Eleanor Hodges is the executive director of Eco Action Arlington. The nonprofit launched its tree canopy equity program in 2022. As we're providing trees that are about uh, the tree measurement is two and a half inches, um, which uh, looks like an eight to 10 foot tall tree right when it goes in your property. Now, a two inch diameter tree can store about 10 pounds of carbon dioxide each year. And as it grows, its capacity for storage increases exponentially. These trees produce oxygen and they give off water vapor, which can cool surroundings, and they soak up stormwater, which can prevent flooding. We should be able to get a few hundred trees um, into the ground, into historically underserved communities. It's uh, not enough but um, it is enough to spark change and to uh, draw more attention and to get more resources. Putting trees into the ground now is gonna have a multi-generational effect on uh, many people for lifetimes to come. A long-term goal to rectify long-lasting injustice. I'm Peter Zampa, listening to America. And here in Charlotte, the city has taken steps to preserve the city's tree canopy. One is through the Tree by Tree program that started last year. It encourages you to learn more about taking care of trees in your backyard. At least twice a year, a group of volunteers visit city neighborhoods to survey trees, take inventory, and hand out books to identify different species. Other ways to increase natural airflow through hot neighborhoods include opening more public air-conditioned spaces, 